predictive analysis of oh. how the first two, three minutes of the game might Oh, there's go. gonna be a lot oh. of healing. Oh, Agent Zero, the god of first blood, but now he had help. Oh, wait, wait, it's wait, wait. the way around. If I have the time, I'm gonna geek it out, right? Because, but I don't think that we will. Maybe after this game, but I just wanna say, oh, Blacklist. For the entirety of the group stages, when they play as this, when they struggled, they have found a lot of issues like reaching level 4 for Oh My Venus. This time, what they did was an early switch. Top lane, you can see that Yue and Edward shared EXP so that they will not have to wait for two minutes before they switch out. And this is the solution that Blacklist is looking for. On the day where the solution visited our hallowed ground here, Blacklist finds a solution. By the way, who will gain more assists in this game? Ogwin or Oh My Venus? Don't forget to use the hashtag SmartFlowers, MPLS11, when commenting on the live stream. So, Oh My Venus might actually be able to hit level 4 potentially quicker than Ogwin. Oh. But now Flap TZ. Does this mean he'll be playing from behind? Or is the quick early kill that early just something not to worry about? If anything, it's not Flap that's actually struggling with this. It's Kyle TZ. Why he's got a free camp on him? Yep. Because of the whole rotation up top. Uh, I, I think this this is... I can just can't believe that Blacklist will eventually do it. I'm... Uh, there's just a long history of this. This is, again, this deserves a whole video just to explain what are the semantics of what happened, what are the rudiments that happened at top lane. Uh oh They're doing it again. You ask the question, will Flap DZ suffer? It looks like he will. He's not going to be part of this turtle dance as we start. Yes, I'm expecting this to be a dance. Both Wise and Kyle want first dibs on this Snowball Turtle. First turtle here, two minutes, 50 seconds in, full reset. Yue with the RWM, very low few, just going out. Edward gets the ride on him. There's an Electro Final Blow into the back line, the heel coming in from Ogwin. Edward, Agent Zero, takes down the idol of the kids. And that's gonna be another kill for Blacklist. And oh. because of that, look, there's Fredrin in the jungle of Bren, but that's not Bren's Fredrin, and Blacklist got more kills around that turtle pit, which is still up. Oh, this is such a... Wow, Bla Blackli Blacklist just did their homework. You can see that instead of fighting around the turtle, they just held on to it and team fought. They did not take out the turtle. This time, Weiss is going to walk into the turtle with a level ahead of Kyle TZ because of how much monsters or creeps he took away from Bren's jungle. And they are just going to hold on to the turtle. They don't need it. All they need was to farm. And now Blacklist is leading by 1,500 in gold. Oh, contest Kyle TZ. Not by contesting the turtles, but by contesting his jungle when he doesn't even uh -oh. know what's happening. That's four members of Blacklist right on top of Kyle. Here goes Flap TZ for the response. Oh my Venus. The heal. Very low turtle. About a tenth of its health. Why secures it? Flap tried. But then again, Blacklist now growing that lead to about 2k. Yeah, it looks like this will continue to balloon Wolf as the yep. lead and the levels between the two junglers are starting to form a noticeable gap. Kyle TZ still about to hit level 6, a quarter of the way there. But I, I agree with you, Blacklist did their homework in terms of how to rotate, but Ow. Oh, pressure on this carry. Ow, stunned very, very quickly. Oh, Brent knows that they can force it. Yeah, you know, I've seen a lot of Blacklist games and, uh, you know, to the point where I study them. This is a different rotation. Uh -oh. Whatever they're doing, it's so totally different. Oh. And we were thinking, usually we think of picks in terms of something new. This time Blacklist is showing a new rotation contesting the orange. Here it is. About a third of its health left in retribution range. Wise, not gonna force the issue. Let's Kyle get a buff. See how interesting they might use my words? Let's Kyle get his buff. <laughs> the first four minutes of this game, Wise was calling the shots. I will allow you. This is yours for now. A terrifying thought. We were talking about these two junglers, the power between these two. About to hit level five here. Some items rolling in already. I think I saw an ice cream one on the hands of US Eve. Yeah. So what now? What happens now for Brandy Sports is that there's just really no contention that they can do around all of these big objectives unless they win a team fight. Um, they, that should be their goal right now. So you you are really seeing what the Blacklist International have prepared for against Brandy Sports. The pattern of what they're doing, it's totally different from what they are doing in the group stages. It's Blacklist just ca coming up prepared for Brandy Sports. Uh oh. You yeah. were? Will he commit the real world manipulations? 3v2. Oh, they timed it well. Blazing the wet. Early pull from Super Marco. Oakland very low. Gets taken down underneath tier one. 
Now Wise coming in from the back line, Ooh. forcing out an early BMI from Marco. He does survive, few from the back line, finds V. Doesn't let him go. The Queen still stands with the heel and the ult. Oh, and Owl pushes his whole time. Blacklist International have bought so much time across the map. Now they're gonna make a visit towards the Turtle Pit. Can Blacklist seal it away? Oh. Wise takes the Turtle! And Kyle DZ has Agent Zero on him. This Lancelot might not be long for the world. Can Flap DZ save his jungler? The answer is no. Wise takes another head. Brandy Sports are out of their tempo. Absolutely. They have double healed now with, of course, the Florian Ultimate and the Estes Ultimate. But so far, nobody can stay in front. So this is where the weirdness starts from Brenny Sports. They decided to go for a Benedetta, which is not a tank hero. They wanted to go for sustain. Surely, you want to stay in front of Blacklist International, but no hero will be staying in front, right? They There's need no the peel. tanker. They need the peel. Yeah, they don't so have weird. It. It's quite divey, quite messy. Well, Blacklist is a quite static formation. You know what they're going to be doing. And they do it so well that Ren will expectantly struggle as they want to hold on to this mid lane turret. And it seems like Blacklist have solved. Uh, you said the magic phrase earlier, Leo, have taken Bren out of their tempo. The yes. key to victory, of victory earlier for Bren was flex your aggressive tempo. Bren can't flex anything because Blacklist said it from minute one. Nay, second 25. Now we see Blacklist just taking control again. They don't have to force anything. They are playing to their tempo. They're waiting for Owl, and Owl might have said yes. Flap DZ going in for the forward flicker. Flap DZ does survive, gets his life, keeps it, yep. but just for now. But still, everything still belongs to Blacklist. Huh. The benefit of having a global heal coming out from Oakland, but all that gave to Brandy Sports is just a little bit of time. Now Blacklist International are going to be pressuring top lane once again because what they know is that Super Marco is the only win, win condition left for Bren. And if they do shut down oh. Super Marco, there's nothing left. And here's a big skirmish inside the purple pit of Brandy Sports. RWM from both sides and looking for a grab grab. Oh, just pandemonium in here. Blazing duet coming in from Super Marco. All the targets hit, but just like that, oh my Venus heals up the rest of Blacks International. No dice. Bren take no one down. Well, everybody's just sustaining themselves. Well, that is the power of the Florin, of course, and the Estes. That is actually very surprising that Rennie Sports lasted for that long. You can see that oh. even after trailing behind, they still have some shots. Oh, and from the turtle, they make a beeline straight for the purple. And right in front of Kyle DZ, spending his retribution, Wise commits. Grand Theft Purple. Not enough damage just yet in the books for Bren. Actually, it was after that long engage where we saw Super Marco just got to build the Golden Staff, so he didn't have it there. Al Flap, Few, Venus up top as Bren tries to hold on to their top turret. Here comes you with. Looks like Blacklist might be able to break it here. A two man defense sent in by Brandy Sports. Oh. The RWM keeps Flap easy and takes him down. Here comes Ogwin. To the response, few with an RWM of his own. Owl forcing the issue, gives the kill up to Wise. Few goes down. Now oh. on a Brazer's Wrath, point blank on a Super Marco, taking down the gold laner from Brenny Sports. So many mistimed ultimate spells coming out from Brenny Sports. First, the ultimate coming out from Ogwin, not saving Flap Teasy. Then they fought, and then after the BMI, you can see that Wise is just on point with a uh, with a taunt, and he uses the ultimate, you can see it happening from a mile away, but you don't really know how much damage it will deal. But because of the lead that Wise already amassed against Super Marco, the levels are there and the damage was there. Blacklist International on a tear against Rennie Sports. Sweet revenge against the Beast. So what I mentioned earlier for Blacklist International, it's only game number one, but right now Brent is killless. No kills secured. They only got a tower up top. Blacklist have been controlling this game and with controlling the mid and the jungle, they've controlled the pace in which Super Marco can oh. farm. A little bit of a requiem though, some redemption for Kyle DZ. He does get the purple, but at what cost? That tier two down bottom might as well have been taken down by Wise. Just the same. The past minute of silence, I believe, has been just excruciating for the Hive. Bren is getting nothing. Again, Raptor, you mentioned it. Nothing! Brandy, I always thought Brent Esports as one of the teams that really solved the Uve strategy. 
but then Blacklist have just brought it back and they're, they're now dominating as they continue to do so, taking away another buff away from Kyle TZ oh, with the Lord up. Poor Kyle. Blacklist can just make a call to go for the Lord here and Bren would be the better, the smarter to not contest. Yeah. I think the last two picks of Bren Esports looked really like a, a pocket strategy and maybe we have put so much trust on the Bren Esports when, when they did pick it up. But now, you're going to see it in practice. Flap TZ's Benedetta isn't doing anything. Even after his death, right? You're going you're gonna to think that maybe he can do something for the team. But if you think about it as Bren Esports lineup as a whole, composition as a whole, he does not achieve anything apart from like clearing the waves. Because somebody has to be in front. Uh oh. Threatening the kill on a Master Blaster, Ogwin. He gets out of dodge, spending that flicker. Blacklist with their trademark Ube moving as one, crossing that river, going straight for the Lord. Uh, pretty sure Ube is also the flavor of ice cream glue. Uh, that's the new skin. And I know it's not ice cream, but uh, you might as well just call it ice cream glue. Yeah, you're hungry. Super yes, I am quite hungry. Super Marco, by the way, uh, still hungering for gold, but was finally able to build the Corrosion size. So that's three main items already. Is this enough or does Brand need to turtle it out even longer? For sure. I think that they, they have to turn it out. Like, super duper late game. That's my answer to you. Fortunately, they have a lot of weight here because of the Benedetta as well as the uh, as well as the Claude. But until they get all of the items up, until they get or immortalities up, I don't think that Brand Esports can really match up against Black. This is such a strong comp that Blacklist has right now. Oh man, I see exactly what Wise and Edward were doing. They were baiting Kyle DZ to commit to the orange, but that won't happen. Owl almost takes down Flap DZ, almost single-handedly with the queen down south, going ahead and making sure that her gold laner doesn't go down. Look at Super Marco. I oh. wonder if Owl knows there's an RWM coming in. Down goes El Cuago del Loco. He muerte, fam. 4-1 trade. Kyle TZ was left alone in the Lord, but Bren Esports wow. found the key target in Whoa. the Quago, and Bren Esports have found a lot of space up top. And credit to the idol of the kids, man. Legendary few utilizing that real world motivation to its full effect. Of course, they punish the over extension coming out from Owl, but you can see that the way that few use the edges of the real world manipulation oh. to lap down Owl, so masterful. And Owl had no business. He's not running a Purify. He exactly. couldn't get out of there even if he had the Flicker. So now, we'll see how far that takes Brenny Sports. It's a little bit of uh, redemption, a little bit of consolation. Yeah. But I don't know if it's enough to help him contest his Lord. Okay. Consolation is like the be best that way case. to put it, yeah. I guess that what they bought here is time for the split push. Oh, Kyle DZ, but that have held. RWM coming in from Few. Very low, Kyle DZ. Not gonna survive. Agent Zero gets the kill. Now the Lord in retribution range. Oh, the There's an Electro lane. final blow. Look at the top lane coming in from Super Marco. Marco, what are you doing? Pulling the page out of Betty Cutie's book. Oh, not quite so, says Owl. And yes, Brenny Sports gets a penetration, but Black gets Lord. Man, I was gonna criticize Brenny Sports for not for fighting under that Lord fight. Because I, I honestly thought that Brenny Sports made a mistake, but that wasn't the case. It was a part of the plan all along. Kyle DC might have died, but Super Marco achieved a very important objective. Taking out one inhibitor turret means that now they can control the minions much better. The team that has been playing behind since 25 seconds was the first to break down an inhibitor turret, but Blacklist looking for revenge here in the mid and here with the siege. The waves are crashing in from Blacks International. Up top, that's a Luminous Lord. It wow. will crash on through this inhibitor. Let's see, Bren looking for the defense. Why is the front liner? He's put down to a third of his health. Mid lane in jeopardy. Owl coming in, flap, trying to cut the line here. Kyle DZ as well, drawing lines among the members of Blacks International. Super Marco taking down the Lord. An inhibitor falls down in mid as well. Blacklist. I believe that's mission successful. Absolutely. Oh, Brand Esports Gold Laner. His, their condition is met. He has the items they need to deal damage. Oh, but he's back. An RWM coming in from UA. And there's an Electro Final Blow. Flap trying to stop this push. But they're not going to stop. No minions coming in. Blacklist calls it off. What a play there by Black. And it's sent back Super Marco for the maximize. Oh, the blazing duet. Still going. And the waves are still coming. And Bren is still holding on. Yeah, and 
both teams are just so good at team fighting. You see that bottom lane. U.S. started the ultimate. Real World Manipulation was actually greatly timed, but Granny Sports had Ogwin's ultimate to survive, and Super Marco also got away. Nobody died in that skirmish, and no turret died as well in the bottom lane. Well, it is true that Blacklist International will have the uh, macro advantage since they have more map control, courtesy of taking out two inhibitors. But Granny Sports, after pushing that top lane, means that they kind of equalized in one lane. You can see that they are behind by 7,000, but it's not... Uh, it's not impossible for them to mount a comeback. Can they? It's the biggest question. Almost 8,000 behind, 35 seconds until the Lord spawns. One of the biggest things that has been giving Brent problems is the fact that, yes, other than just his farm, but in combat, in a fight, Edward and the rest of Blacklist, is led by Edward's clue, has been completely disrupting Kaltizi's flow of dashing in and dashing out forcing him to use Thorn Rose way too early, Phantom Execution, just to avoid getting controlled. They're layering their crowd control abilities onto a Lancelot incredibly well. And there's not much iframes Kyle Teasy can play with. It's yeah. so difficult, man. And to think that his XP laner, Flap Teasy, is more like a scalpel, while Agent Zero, Edward, is a sledgehammer. <laughs> the yeah. fact that Brady Sports is still in this is utterly impressive. Yeah. They're doing it by trying to win team fights that they uh -oh. by, by playing off map. Ogwin walks into an almost deadly bush, but it's not gonna happen so quickly. Not like that. Slapped Super easy. Marco. Force is one. Super Marco coming in from the back line. RWM coming in from UA. And Marco might take down all my Venus. Down goes the Queen. London Bridge has fallen. It's a 4v5. Phew. Taken down. The RWM canceled quickly. Here comes Kyle TZ. Facing off against Edward. Oh wow, there's some breathing room for Red. And that was a well-executed sandwich play because of the gank from Super Marco. It forced Edward away from helping Wise in the Lord. It looked like a free one for Wise, but Count Easy was also there to contest. And now because of all of everything that happened, now Bren Esports are in prime contention uh, position for this Lord as Super Marco pushes down bottom. Let's see if that's gonna happen. There's a push down bottom and in mid, a skirmish. Yue with the RWM, Marco with the push. Down goes Ogwin, look at Flap Easy just dashing on through the two and three members behind that wall. That was just Few and Kyle Deasy. And Marco is still just pushing. Is this a deja vu of the same gambit from earlier? Oh. Albeit, might be a little too expensive. Very, very expensive. Now they won't have Benedetta to clear out the mid lane. Surely they will have Kyle. No immortality for both of these players oh. from Bren. Oh, they're holding on. Marco, a tenth of his health. No minions. Brandy Sports still in this. Blacklist, though, they are a complete lineup. They're going to go straight for this evolved lord. Blacklist International have found a way to keep the lead in their hands while Brandy Sports continue to send Marco down bot. What will Blacklist do? Edward will be able to recall back. Free lord for Blacklist. Too easy, and now for Brandy Sports, all they need to do is to clear out the minions, maybe cut some waves. But Blacklist International are always deadly with the Lord push. They're gonna have to be very worried, and it is going to be the mid lane. You can see Owl already ushering the minions up top so that it will be a two pronged attack, and Edward also into the bottom lane. Somebody has to attend to the side lanes before they engage in the mid lane. Otherwise, Blacklist will just win this by sheer power. They, they are going to be treating this Lord like a battering ram against the gates of yep. Brandy Sports. At nine minutes, that 8k gold lead is still massive. Like, you know you're up sure. short. Oh, Few showed himself. Oh, no. Spends that flick. Carry! And, and he has the carry ult! This Valentina not long for the world! That's a 4v5, maybe even a 4v6 as the Lord is still standing. But the Kyle Teasy struggling to clear the waves. The Lord will eventually go down. And Kyle Teasy in no man's land. He's far from his teammates. Oh, the waves are crashing on through. Flap Teasy just attacking each wave, each member. Oh, Yue with the RWM. Kyle Teasy just dashing on through. Blazing to a spent and already by Super Marco. Ladies and gentlemen, Brandy Sports will lose this defense. Blacklist draws first blood. 1-0 for Blacklist. Folks, this is Blacklist International's first game win against Bren Esports this season. And they do it in dominating fashion in the playoffs.